you know, I was just thinking this week, maybe I should just stop all of the things I'm trying to do and, and get a job. I, I could probably make money doing something. I mean, I've got a thousand different skills. I could probably be in. I, I could, if I wanted to, I could probably pitch myself to some company and end up easily as, as a six figure marketer. So to- totally easily. But I'm, I just, you know, I think that'd be too little money. I, the only reason that I understand what I know about what I know is because I focus on learning stuff. And if I keep learning and learning and learning and doing and doing and doing that, I'm only going to make myself more and more and more valuable until eventually I'm so valuable that I'm irresistible. That, 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 that you want inside Jesse's head. There's inside Jesse's head. But I was just thinking about it. You know, I, I got all these projects. How do I know that, that they're going to work? And frankly, I don't, I'm just, I just like learning. them. So that, that, that question came to me this week. I think I actually had a dream about it. Is it worth it? I, I, I wonder if it was a demon trying to persuade me to stop it or something. But, you know, you always feel like you're supposed to quit just before you have massive. I mean, just before you hit pay dirt, it feels like you're in the wrong place. However much you think you need to put in it feels like it's too much. You, ha- you, you only get victory if you put in too much work. Everybody, well, that's, that's enough. I mean, it should be enough. Mm-hmm. Just had someone ask me this week, isn't Windows good enough? And I'm like, well, if your goal is to be a consumer and not make a difference in the world, then yeah. You know, you, 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 you want to you know, go, have to go around and, and ask for the job and maybe get fired if politics don't go your way. Um, you know, live, help someone else live their dream while you just skimp by being told what to do all the time. If you, you know, being led around as if on a hook in your mouth, if that's what you want to do, then yeah, Windows is good enough. But if you want to change the world, sorry, dude, uh, you're going to have to, uh, you got to install Ubuntu at some point or Linux. If, if you want to use a computer to make a difference, anyhow. Uh, well, I suppose you could use Windows or Mac or something like that. But I mean, if, 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 if you're a programmer, you, you know, and you're using websites, you, you need to have Linux on your computer. That's just, that's just a fact, uh, at least where we are now. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what, George, Apple iPhones, they were a great idea, weren't they? Yeah, back back when when back before the days of the App Store. I mean they had a good complete product, but now we've got apps out there in Android. Android really has good stuff. All right, sorry for all the geekery, but I I was just thinking this week. You know, is it is it worth it? Is it worth it to continue different projects that I've got going and I absolutely decide yes it is I live very cheaply I I have a very simple life I live in Asia I drive a motorcycle I make well below the poverty line well below the the uh you know anything that I would have to pay taxes on and I I make whatever money off of managing websites and doing marketing campaigns for friends and the rest of my time I sit and I write books and I write the news and I write uh like 52 bible you know is up and going and stuff I I, I write software I learn st- I learn and I I improve myself as much as I possibly can and I know that I can only do that for so long before it has huge rewards and you know, it, it's it's got to seem to a lot of people like too much. I, w- I went and talked uh, with with um, the coffee shop owner. I go banter with once in a while, and he said, "You know, Jesse, you can't you can't do this forever." I mean, he he watched. I made this video called "Every Verb Has Do." No, go go look it up. Pink right. Every verb has do, and it's this cute little Jesse moment. It almost seems like a sort of TED Talk concept. How every verb has a do. It's like, well, that's a really way. To... 
And he looked at this video and says, Jesse, why aren't you a millionaire? I said, well, I, I am. It all depends on what point in history you're talking about, not now. He said, but you can't hide forever. You need to go get a book. You need to go promote yourself and publish yourself. I said, well, all right, but I don't want to waste time knocking on doors of publishers. I, I think, you know, there are people who get the, the publishers calling them for the book contracts. I it just, that's just much easier. I'm, I, I'd rather write the book, not spend my time trying to market it. He says, well, you know, keep it up. Keep doing good. Just keep putting your name out there. He says, keep put, don't hide. He says, Jesse, you got to get step on. And then, and then I had something else happen. I had a friend say, Jesse, what are you doing? I said, what? Said, what are you doing? You talk about your ideas too much. You talk about issues and current events and you talk about theories too much. You, you knock it off. So what 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 are you talking about? He said, Jesse, you're 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 brilliant. You need to take your ideas and channel them. Don't talk about you know your your ideas with just anybody that you come across. When you're with people at McDonald's, sit and talk about whatever at McDonald's. If if people want your ideas on how to be successful with something, it should either be a special meeting for that purpose or they should be paying you for those ideas. I said, yeah, you know, that's right. I mean, I'm syndicated. You know, I, I should not talk about the topics that I write about with just people on the street. Maybe. I'm really thinking about that, though. It's about self-respect. I don't, I mean, here's a question for you. Let me ask you, do you have topics and things that you get geeked about and you go out there and you talk to your friends and you're always excited about it? Have you ever thought maybe if you tell people, you know, I, I'm, I know what I'm talking about and you, the rest of you don't because you just don't do the work at this like I do at this. You ever thought maybe don't argue with those people? I mean, we're, we're taught that we're supposed to be an expert on everything and argue with everyone all the time. You know, you watch these news talk shows and you feel like you're supposed to be on the show giving your opinion, right? That's, they, they want, is, there's just too much talk, 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 talk. Look, find out whatever you're good at and stop talking to people about it. Do it, blog it, vlog it, and tell people, no, this is something I really focus on being good at. And if you want to know what I think, go read my book. Go read my blog. With you, I'm going to talk about stuff that uh, both of us are novices at. Stuff that both of us are just amateurs having some useless opinion that no one's going to pay us for. I'll talk about that stuff with you. But if I'm doing graphic design all week like a professional and you're just some hobbyist, I'm not going to get in an argument with you as if you know enough to discuss it with me. I'm not, I'm not going to do it with, with, with design, with politics, with what, whatever the issue is. And, uh, and if someone does that to you, maybe you should tell them the same thing. Hey, you're good at this. What are you doing talking to me about this? Go, you're really good at this. Don't talk about work over dinner, you know, over dinner. So I just decided this week, you know, I, I mean, don't no, no major changes, but I need to make, I need to get my game on about getting my game on. That's what I just really decided I need to do. I am going to finish. I, we finish. There we go. And uh, we also get to the point. To most people, the work necessary to finish and succeed feels like too much. As you progress, as you advance and move forward, you start to sweat. You get tired. You get exhausted. You get hungry for food so much that you can easily forget about your hunger to finish. It even looks like too much. People watching see neither results nor your vision. They only see your exhaustion. If you're running a race, they have not run themselves. They think you're just abusing yourself. So they'll tell you to quit. Love yourself, they'll say. But they just can't know. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com